All right, we continue here in studio, Brody Brazil, with Dan Boyle, who has truly seen the evolution of Tomas Hurdle, like up close and personal. You were on the Sharks for his yep. very first NHL games, including the four goals and the yeah. between the legs game. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of a famous one in team history. But I want to really go back to the evolution of, of him as a player. What do you remember from his earliest days in this league? Well, the skill was evident. Uh, I think right away the skill was evident. Um, Hit the score, he's obviously got moves for days. <laughs> but um, I think he got hurt. I don't remember what year. He had a few. Uh, well, one of the one of the Dustin Brown knee on knee. Yeah, injuries. he had a few tough injuries that kind of set yeah. him back a little bit. Yep. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that's unreal. Not a lot of people. I mean, we can do that in practice, but to do that in a game at high speed, uh, I wouldn't even try that myself. But yeah, uh, yeah I mean, to see what he's done, uh, what he's doing today, I think is the strength is what I'm noticing. He's just so strong in the puck. He's, we talk about power force. He's a power forward. And coaches want guys to get the puck deep and that kind of stuff. But he's one of those guys that I would say, hold on to it. No yeah. one's going to move you off that thing. Yeah. And as a defenseman, 5'10", 5'8", 5'9", those guys aren't going to touch it. So hang on to that puck around the net, and uh, his strength is just grown a lot. When you said hold on to him, I thought you were talking about the Sharks. Hang on to him oh. as a player, <laughs> which is also kind of the case. But, yeah. you know, Boiler, I, I feel like he's also... He's not grown into his body, but he's always been a big boy. He's learned how to use his body even more in recent years, I feel. Yeah, and I'm probably going to use that word too much tonight. It's confidence, and yeah. I think that is another thing. That comes with playing games, trusting yourself, your teammates trusting you, your coaches trusting in you, and uh, even the, the, the empty net goal. Yeah. It's the empty net goal the right. other night. A lot of guys probably don't do that. He just sticks his butt out, turns it around, but a lot of guys probably won't do that. So I'm just impressed with his strength and his power and, and his confidence, obviously, which has come a long way. And he's done it all being the anti-Dan Boyle. He's always happy. He's cheery. <laughs> hey, guys, how are you? Good to see you versus uh, Roy Kent over here. <laughs> no interviews, please. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's nice. I, I, I was told by one of your producers, Sean, that I was kind but not nice. So <laughs> we'll clarify. I'll go that. with that. Kind but not nice.